Welcome back to Devices Startup channel again and today we will learn how to enable WPS on the router. So if you are not able to connect any device to your router by using a physical WPS button on it then there is 100% chances that your WPS is disabled from your router's admin page. But the good news is you can enable the WPS on your router very easily in just 3-4 steps. After that, you will be able to connect your extender or phone or any other device to the router using the WPS method. So let's get started. So suppose if you have any router in your home like Netgear, TP-Link, Spectrum, Linksys, D-Link, etc. Then the steps to enable the WPS is almost same in all routers. What you have to do is First of all, log in into your router. Now, if you don't know how to log in into the router, then you can check our video. The link is given in the description. And once you are logged in into the router, you need to look for WPS option if it comes. If not, then look for something like Wi-Fi settings or network. There, you will probably find a WPS option which is disabled. So you just have to enable it now. Let me show you how to enable WPS on Netgear Router 2. So first, log in into your router, then go to Advanced and WPS Wizard option. Enable the WPS from there. Talking about TP-Link Router, you will have a WPS option right on the menu. Select that and enable the WPS. So for any router model you have, you can enable the WPS in the similar manner by either going to the Wi-Fi settings or network options, you will definitely find a WPS option there. Now once the WPS is enabled, you can press the WPS on the router and on your phone or extender to make a connection between them. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much.